even better solutions. The second example is the recycling of packaging materials. The conventional solution, the original motivation is the recovery of aluminum value. That was the original, the first uh, intention. Because in those years, they start to produce uh, aluminum cans here in all countries and people start to see aluminum cans everywhere. So there was first a reaction against the aluminum. And what did the um, aluminum and the cans manufacturers? They start to promote the recycling. The conventional approach, and I believe that in Europe there are still some cans that forbids the aluminum cans, or they charge uh, on the cost of that can. We did the opposite. We promoted, with a tradition of a scrap collection, poor countries, they have good tradition of a scrap collection because there are people that are living just by picking up all the metallic parts in the streets and sell somewhere. So there was a network of a place that could receive those cans. And the aluminum people, they were clever. They came to the school and said, look, those that get more cans will get a computer as a complement of our company. And they started to distribute computers to all students, all uh, schools. And environment, environmental benefits, energy saving. One unit of aluminum, secondary, recycled, consumes one-tenth of the primary aluminum. So I'm saving a lot of energy. Aluminum is one ton of uh, aluminum uses about 15,000 kilowatt hour to be produced. And the recycling is just to melt again that produced aluminum. And uh, reasons for success, those that I show, and the environmental uh, benefits, energy saving, preservation of a non-renewable natural resource, mainly bauxite oil. Uh, oil. But then let us come to the spin-offs, and that is the most interesting part of it. I start to list what are the spin-offs. First, when the aluminum can became uh, the green packaging, first was the devil, but then after the recycling system was put into work, it was a green solution. Those that produced plastic, glass, <laughs> steel cans, they had to develop solutions for their own uh, packaging materials. So everybody started to introduce recycling solutions. The second uh, spin-off was the stimulus for developing an advanced technology for recycling composite packaging material. We are talking about the world famous Tetra Pak solution that was unrecyclable because the Tetra Pak is a different coatings of uh, polyethylene, low density polyethylene together with cardboard and a thin uh, aluminum protection. 